Uh, g'day guys, sometimes a mechanic it pays off um, right before you're going to go home to just have another go at something. So I spent a few minutes this morning, I made a YouTube video about the Valvetronic Relay, which is here. The Valvetronic Relay on this E90 is upside down, pushed down there, and there's a 40 amp fuse for it over there. Now, in the glove box, in that famous fuse panel behind there, we've got quite a few engine management codes, right? Uh, sorry, engine management fuses. But the best and easiest way for you to know which ones they are is to pull out, oh, I wish I never put it back now, but to pull out um, this and come here and see that the engine management fuses are all grouped together by BMW. There you can see them right there. All right, with the engine, those. Okay, now. This car had had a battery installed. This car's been misfiring for weeks. It's been driven by the owners for weeks. Now, a couple of weeks ago, and I'm gonna do this live, which is very unusual. A couple of weeks ago, I had, um, okay, this gets pushed back in here in the end, later. A couple of weeks ago, this car came in. It said the Valvetronic was overheating. Cylinder 3 misfire. They kept driving, kept on abusing and abusing and driving. And then we wonder why these cars go to hell. Now, I came around the back and I was checking the job of the battery installer, which theoretically was the first thing I had to do, right? But because these people that fit batteries all day, uh, you know, um, should know what they're doing, I did briefly look at the battery this morning, it's connected. So I popped this little thing back, like that. Looked at that, looked at that, checked this is connected. Anyway, I then see down here, there's, an, um, there's a power connection down there. See that shiny thing down there, right? And then I find this wire pushed all the way under the battery. I just lifted the battery now, and I will guess that this is gonna have to go in here. This will be the Valvetronic thing fixed. Now, these are the codes. Internal fault of the DME, okay? Luckily, I didn't waste too much time on it, but still, these had to come off to do the coil. <sighs> the workmanship in Australia has reached all new lows, guys. All new lows. Um, absolutely shocking stuff. I'm seeing worse stuff than ever. I mean, if only we could name and shame, but I bet you'd get sued if you do. Let's start this engine. Will I have a throttle? Thank God. Okay, I've got the throttle. Which means now I get to do the brakes and the service and make some money instead of these people throwing the car out, which is what they've been told somewhere else. Now, there are two fuse types. Okay, I... Hmm. Oh, the valve stem seals. Oh, the valve stem seals. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought something was on fire. Okay, now, there are two fuse box types with slight variations. Okay, and um, the best way, as I said, is to go to the BMW, to the BMW uh, stuff. Go to the BMW literature, it's easier. Um, and that's it, guys. So, someone's broken this connector. I've actually had experience in resetting the limit stops. Please stop. Please stop. Um, he wants to go home.
and I will reset the valve trying to can readapt it but now at least I can actually get my job done uh, so once again it's not the BMW it's the mechanics and the imbecile that fitted the battery we all make mistakes but this is unacceptable if you're fitting batteries all day you'd think you'd fucking know wouldn't you anyway um that's a good result this car had no throttle now guys this valvetronic uh, system even though this is an earlier generation it is a, a a wonder of engineering because the throttle valve is only used for startup and also because you do need some sort of a vacuum for evaporative emission systems and stuff like that. Okay, when this car came in the door with no throttle and the reduced power thing on, uh, I basically told them, look, get ready to throw your car away. And, you know, my scanner told me the Valvetronic system had suffered an overheat, that the internal temperature of the Valvetronic, in fact, I don't know how it knows that. So it might be through this sensor here because th this is just a direct power uh, wire there. But, you know, it said the Valvetronic system is overheated, something like that. I do have a record of it somewhere. But anyway, th guys, if you've got a crappy cheap coil, okay on on a bmw change it all right don't be a tight ass because you can buy one four coils on this for the price of one on on a subaru or three and a half so do not drive these bmws misfiring the valvetronic system is problematic it does not like heat and on top of that they have now blown from doing that now you didn't hear it then but they've blown the pcv in the rocker cover because it makes this whistling sound and there's this horrific uh, 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 vacuum pull through there, unless it was because the Valvetronic system uh, is malfunctioning so badly before. Please don't bark, baby. I'm going to get bad comments from the miserable, some of the miseries on YouTube that... There, your video. All right, now... Sorry guys, just pissed off. It's just car after car, bad workmanship, you know? Like, okay, let's just have a look now. All right, it's, okay, maybe someone will know it. Um, okay, let me just get the key out because I'm getting out of here. Maybe someone can help us with it. This car was whistling very, very strongly through the PCV system. It's now not there. So basically, maybe the Valvetronic being stuck in the 64 degree position or whatever it was, uh, made the PCV whistle with an internal vacuum because now it's gone. But that's not what this video is about. What these video is about, DME internal fault, go straight to your battery and your wiring. Obviously you wanna check uh, this relay here and that fuse. There's other engine management fuses, but fuses just don't blow, guys. I mean, fuses don't blow. I sent the customer a message at 7 a.m. this morning saying, did anyone short circuit anything here? And I've not heard back from them. So anyway, that's all sorted. Hope that helps, bye.